Hi everyone, I'm Mahesh Jaraman, acupressure therapist, health counsellor and co-founder of Sepalika.com. It's one of those things that you don't really know if you should be angry about or laugh about. Most of us end up doing both at different times. It's called snoring and if you have a spouse who does it, you know exactly what I mean. But what very few of us know is that each irritating snore is actually an alarm from your body, warning you of serious health conditions that will soon appear unless you correct the snoring. Snoring is the result of airway muscles, mostly in the throat, that relax too much or lose tone and they collapse and close. So when you are unable to breathe through your nose and you breathe through your mouth, the air struggles to pass through these closed muscles and the throat muscles flap and vibrate producing the snoring sound. It could happen for many reasons, smoking, alcohol, sleeping pills, a bad cold or even just being overweight. Uh, these are some of the most common reasons. Some people are also born with a defect in their sinus passages and this makes them snore. Whatever the reason, snoring stops being a mere annoyance when you look at the research linking it back to serious diseases. Nearly half of the people who snore end up with obstructive sleep apnea. This is a condition when throat muscles completely block the airway during sleep just for a few seconds. This loss of oxygen supply can happen up to 30 times an hour or every two minutes. If you have a partner who snores badly, you know this pattern very well. The snores start slowly, they build up louder and deeper over the next two minutes or so and finally, the person sort of sputters and wakes up with a jolt for a couple of seconds, still half asleep. That's the window when you're desperately trying to fall asleep before the next round of snoring begins. Research shows that this kind of obstructive sleep apnea sleep pattern increases the risk of several health problems. Hypertension, irregular heartbeat, diabetes, stroke, heart attack and so on. It's even been linked to higher risk of Alzheimer's and increases the risk of overall death as well. I'm telling you all this so you understand that snoring is beyond just acute annoyance. You need to treat it as a serious wake-up call if you do it regularly and you have to deal with it. To begin with, there are devices available today that can help you keep the airways open. Small nasal strips are available online to help you keep your nostrils open. These work for some. There are also anti-snore chin straps which come with cloth and elastic and velcro that prevent your mouth and jaw from opening up during the night and they force you to breathe through the nose and get oxygen. These work for the more serious cases. A simple DIY hack which has now been used for decades involves fixing a tennis ball to your back. This is very simple. You can do this using a long stocking. Just slide the tennis ball into the center, tie it on both sides and then tie it all around the body just below the rib cage. This prevents you from sleeping on your back. Research shows that when you sleep on your back, that's when your mouth often remains open and your throat muscles collapse making you snore. So when you use the tennis ball hack, it forces you to sleep on one side or the other since the tennis ball feels really uncomfortable each time you try to turn and lie on your back. Of course, the real cure lies deeper. If you learn how to use a neti pot, which is used in yoga and you have to use it daily to irrigate and keep your nasal passages wet, you'll see tremendous benefits from this both in snoring and even in allergies. Throat exercises too have been shown in research to tone the throat muscles and reduce snoring substantially. Giving up or reducing alcohol intake, certainly giving up smoking, these are things that can make a deep impact to your snoring too. Finally, if you're overweight, losing weight can make a huge difference. So the next time your partner snores or your partner tells you that you snore, don't brush it off. Take action to reverse it. Wish you vibrant health and well-being. Thank you.